What the Tech? Hi, welcome to What the Tech. Uh, today we are going to go over how to do a value scale, which is going to kind of give you a good understanding of shade and light, which is one of the basics of scenic painting. So you need to know what is a highlight, what's a dark color. We have a few supplies here. I've got some various paintbrushes. You can pretty much use whatever you have. A black and a white color paint, although you can use white with whatever color you want, it'll work the same way, as long as it's dark enough from the white. Some water for the paintbrushes, and just a rag to kind of wipe off any excess paint and water as we go. And then here I already have some pre-mixed colors. So we are going to start up here. And as you can see, I have a kind of a rectangular bar already drawn with five individual different sections. And so here in the far left corner, far left box, is we're going to pit, start with just pure white. And we're just going to fill in that entire box. And if the paint's a little too thick, feel free to dip your paintbrush in some water to kind of help the paint spread a little bit more on your canvas. Okay, we have the first block done. I'm gonna put that paintbrush in some water for now. Now we're gonna move on to the far right side, which is gonna be your pure black or your pure dark color. We have that block. So we are going to move on to this little block and it's going to be pretty much essentially two parts white paint to one part black and we're going to get like what's supposed to be like just like a shade or two darker from the white. Okay now we're going to continue down that line with this color, which is going to be pretty much a one-to-one -one ratio to one part white to one part black. And this is kind of going to be a bit more of like your mid-tone color. Okay, there you have the middle portion done. And now we're going to move on to the last box which is going to be two parts black to one part white. And there you have it. You have your basic start to a value scale. So we're going to take this one step further. So I have another bar down here. And what we're going to do is kind of take the same concept, but we're going to start blending it. So we can kind of get a practice of how we can take these shade colors and give it like a nice ombre and just like kind of a fade in. Here I'm going to start with white in this area on the far left and kind of continue the same gradation. Here I'm going to be going like a little bit over here, a little bit further over than we did at the top. I'm doing a bit more of a wet blend technique so I work kind of fast on it while the paint's still wet to give it a bit more of a softer gradation. So you don't see like stark lines or anything like that. So here I've started to pit our gray that's in this block down here. And you just kind of work that into the canvas, dip a little water if you need to to help it spread. And you can see where it's starting to go into a gradation here. And I kind of just go back over it with a paintbrush until it kind of blends in together a little bit better. Okay, so now we're going to move on to this color. Put it in there. Go and take a lot of water, rinse out your brush a little bit, and then start to blend in these two seams here. And it's okay if you need to put in a little bit of a lighter color in here to kind of blend it better so you don't see such a stark line and just can continue down. So here we're getting more into box number four so we're going to get some paint and add that in here. Rinse out your brush a little bit and then start blending these two colors together. Okay, 
like I said, if you get a little bit too much over here, you just go back with a lighter color and kind of blend it out. And by blending, you just kind of keep going over it with your brush until it's settled in. Okay, so we have the darker color, so we're going to move into our last block, which is black, and end out the evaluation skip with the darkest color. Okay, a little bit more water on that. And blend in the two colors. Now, if you feel like you have too much going on over here, you can take a new dry brush and kind of just also go back over it and it helps blend things out as you go down. So here's a little rough, so we're gonna just blend that a little bit more. And you can go up and down or you can go side to side. You can really do a mix of both, however, however you choose to blend it. And there you have it. That's how you do evaluation scale. This is really a good like basis of what a lot of scenic painting is based upon because we do go from light to dark a lot, especially when we do like tropical lays where it's like fools the eyes. So anything that has like is a 2D painting that we want to make it look 3D, it all has to do with light, mid-tone, and dark colors. Thanks for tuning in, have a good day, and I hope you check out the rest of our content. Hey, this is Dana Schultes, executive producer for Stage West Theater. I hope that you enjoyed our programming today. If it is something that you can do, please consider giving a gift anywhere from $1 to a million dollars, whatever is comfortable for you. You will be helping to keep Stage West healthy. And don't forget, during 2020, all gifts up to $300 are eligible to be deducted from your taxes. So take advantage. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you have a great day.